Hello, hope you're in fine voice. Mouth clicks, mouth noises generally, but particularly clicks can really ruin your voiceover recording. But don't worry, because there is something called a declicker, which is a plugin which will help to remove or at least reduce the sound of those clicks. Now, in Audacity, there is something called click removal, but don't use that because, frankly, it's rubbish. I've never been able to, to get it to work, and it probably doesn't work very well anyway. But there is a really good plugin you can use, and you have to download it, and then you interface that with the Audacity platform. So I'm going to show you how to download it, and I'm going to show you where to find it, and also how to use it. And I'll put the link for the download in the description at the bottom of this video. Your first port of call is to go to the Audacity forum, and then you want to put in updated D-Clicker. That's what we're interested in. There's also a DSA, a new DSA, but we're interested today in the D-Clicker. And Paul underscore L, who's developed this, it's a, a what's called a Nyquist plugin, so it's not part of Audacity, but it's created by a very kind person who's doing it for us. And he explains the uh, D clicker and the DSer as well. And here it is. Here's the D clicker. This is the download. So this will download to your computer. Like I say, uh, he's also done a DSer, but today we're interested in the D clicker. So you click on that. I'm using a Mac, but if you're using a, a Windows machine, it'll be pretty much the same. You want to click on that and download it to your computer, to your downloads file. That's your first step. And what we need to do then is to go to Audacity and click the tools bar at the top there. There, I want the Nyquist plugin installer, which is what I'm looking for. And then I want to browse and see what I've got. There it is. My D clicker is there. Once I've selected that, I can apply it and then it should be on to the next stage. I want to go back to tools again now and then to the plugin manager. And I want to find it on this list. And I'm looking for D clicker. Here it is, D clicker. And I just go and make sure that it's enabled. And in fact, it already is, but if it isn't, then I need to press enabled. And then what I might need to do is do a rescan just to make sure that it's actually dovetailed into the Audacity system. And the next thing is to go to the bar at the top and choose effect and make sure that it's there. So it won't be in any of these bits, but it's at the bottom there. So there it is. That is the D clicker that we've just installed. And now we can move on and actually use it. Here's a little bit of audio. It's uh, something one of my students recorded some time ago. And you can see here these spikes little spikes there, there's one there. These are clicks. So that's how you can identify them. And if I just play it, see if you can hear it. Can you hear that? Just a little click coming in. And then we identified one here. Yeah. 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 And then here. So they're there and you can see them. And if I just play it, you'll probably be able to hear it within, within the piece. Using immersive technology and ambient sound. What I could do is individually apply the D clicker to these portions where there, there are clicks, which is sometimes quite a good idea. But because it's quite a short piece, I'm just gonna highlight the whole thing. And then I'm gonna go to effects and select the D clicker just going to stick to the default settings because they're normally absolutely fine and I just press apply they've disappeared amazing that one that was there that was a click within a word and it's it's completely gone now let's check it out see what it sounds like using immersive technology and ambient sound now the only thing I would say is and that's 
that's excellent. It's removed it. But it's also removed the D of the, uh, of the voice talent's end word of sound. What you'll find is the D clicker itself, if it hears a letter like a T or a D, you know, that kind of D, T, G, maybe, which could also be a click, couldn't it? A T could be a click, a D could be a click. So just be careful with that. Let's just go back, just gone back to how it looked before. And sometimes it's better just to individually do it if you can. So D click that one. and then de-click this one. That was a click, wasn't it? Yep, remove that. And let's check it now. Using immersive technology and ambient sound. It sounds so much better with those clicks removed. Just be careful though, like I say, it can snip off the end of words if you're not careful. You can experiment with uh, the parameters and so on, or you may just want to highlight the pieces. Now, of course, you can actually, uh, on a waveform, you can see where the clicks are between words, and you can just highlight those without using the D clicker. You can highlight those and snip them out, just cut them out as you would with a breath or something. But within a word, it's very, very difficult to do that, if not impossible. So the D clicker is absolutely ideal for that. I've put the link to the D clicker download in the description under this video. So give it a go and see what happens. And please let me know in the comments, how did you get on? I'd, I'd love to hear from you. All right, thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.